Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So again, we will continue our learning on OFM software. And again, we will use the demo database from the OFM. Okay, so in this video, we will try to create what we call here the grid map. Okay, so to have or to be able to create grid map, you need to make sure that you have the base map like this one already. Okay, so we have the base map and we will utilize all the 231 completions just for the sake of demonstration. Okay, although they may or may not be come from the same reservoir. In fact, this field has, you know, 73 reservoirs. Okay, so creating grid map out of the completions which come from different reservoirs is not actually technically correct, but just for the sake of simplicity, for the sake of demonstration, we will just directly create the grid map using all the data here, okay? So let's keep that in mind. So to create grid map, it's very easy. Go to home, click on grid map, and then you can select. We have six selections here. Let's start from this one. I click on that one. And then you can create grid map for a lot of, you know, many, many variables here. But let's say we are interested more in the water cut. So we want to create grid map for water cut. Let's find water cut. This one, water cut. Put the variable here. So at the same time, you also have date as the variables because we can create the grid map in a time-lapse manner. So it's very interesting. And then we, you can just directly click on finish. And right away, you will have the grid map generated for you. Wait a minute. All right, so this is the grid map. All right, again, we will skip all the technicality. We will skip all the technical justification. We just use the grid map directly, okay? It's your homework to make sure that you create the grid map from the completions coming from the same reservoir, okay? Okay, so this is the scale from 0% water cut to 100% water cut, red for 100% oil, and then purple for 100% water. And then of course you want to zoom in. Or maybe just like this one. So squeeze it and then Again, zoom in and then zoom in again. Okay, so the grid map use all the available data from the 231 completions here, and then just do extrapolation to extrapolate to distribute the water cut over the places, the locations, which do not have the water cut information. Okay, so basically like this one, the grid map will use water cut from O26 and water cut from B2 to distribute or to extrapolate whatever we have the water cut here. Okay, so you can see here, maybe we can zoom to fit again. So at this side, we have a very high water cut area. And yeah, basically this field has very high water cut. But don't forget, we can also move. We can start from the beginning of the production and then we can. Let's play. So we will move across time 